What's going on guys? My name is Blake and today I'm going to show you how to make a cinemagraph or a moving photo from a video in Adobe Premiere. You So a cinemagraph is essentially a still photo where a minor piece of the photo is moving in a loop, repeating, so that it uh, it forms a video clip. There's a ton of different applications for it, and they look very cool, especially on social media platforms like Instagram. They're a lot easier to create than people think. You can create them from photos, you can create them from videos. I want to show you how to create them in Adobe Premiere using a video clip. Alright guys, welcome to the tutorial section of the video. Like I said, this is a super easy technique of making a cinemagraph from a video. Right now I have one clip in my project that uh, I chose that, that is going to make a make for a pretty good example here. Let's take a look at it. It is my friend Neil and he is holding a chainsaw and uh, being kind of a crazy man. There's a lot going on in this clip, not a, a ton, but you can see there's some movement and stuff like that. Uh, we want to find a clip that's, uh, that's really stable so that it can loop well without kind of a lot of you know, movement. If you were to pick this clip, that's not going to loop super well because of the zoom and all that. Um, so I want to find a clip, you know, there's a, this looks like a good stretch in here somewhere. Uh, find a good spot that I can, um, that I can take out and create that kind of looping GIF style video. So he's shaking that chainsaw a little bit. Um, we'll go maybe right there and I'll create an endpoint. I'm going to hit I for an endpoint. Um, you don't have to go too far. I'm going to go maybe not quite a full second, maybe to there and hit an out point. Um, and then let's see what that looks like. I'm going to right click over here on my clip and do a new sequence from clip. It already has my in and out points from there. Uh, and let's play that video back. Cool. Not super long. Now, um, to get it to loop, I'm going to go ahead and copy this um, a bunch of times here. Paste it out there. Let's see, zoom out a little bit. How many we got here? We got six iterations of this. And in between them, you'll see that it, it probably jumps like this. You can see where that cut is. And it's not a lot of movement, but you know our eyes are smart enough to know that there is a little bit of a jump in between there. So what we want to do is create a little crossfade. I'm going to hit Command D, and my default is a one-second crossfade. But go ahead and double-click on that and change the duration to let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll go with a four-frame duration, and now. Let's see this little gap in between. Take a look up here. Not nearly as noticeable. There's a little bit of a stutter, but I think that's uh, we, we can definitely work with that. I'm gonna copy that transition and paste it. Control V on a PC, uh, Command V on a Mac, and go ahead and paste that on all your your uh, transitions there. And that way, when I play it back. I'm getting kind of this nice little looping thing. Now the, the magic length that I kind of like is anything over three seconds long total for my for my cinemagraphs because on Instagram the the uh, minimum length for a video is three seconds. So you're going to want to have that video be at, at the minimum uh, three seconds long. Um, so now that we got our, our loop. Um, what I want to do is, this is kind of a cinemagraph as it is, but there's a lot of other stuff moving, like there's there was a little bit of wind, so you can see the palm trees moving, and um, I want everything completely still except for uh, Neil and the chainsaw. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to highlight everything, I'm going to I'm going to control L or command L on a Mac, um, and so that I can unlink these clips, delete the audio, and what I'm going to do is drag this video track, bump it up a little bit. We want to create a background for this image that's still. So you kind of pick any frame in the video. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter what's where it's at. Um, come over here um, to the export frame uh, command and we're going to hit this little camera button right there. It's going to say let's export this frame as a JPEG. Make sure you're file path is somewhere that you know where it's going. I'm going to hit OK. And um, it exported a JPEG of that exact frame. So now I'm going to go in here um, 
and import that still right there. So here's a double click on it. Here's a still picture of my scene that we can use as the background. So what I want to do is grab that still put it underneath my video. Now I'm going to click um, and we're going to draw a mask around Neil so that uh, we isolate him from the video. I'm going to turn this um, turn the photo off underneath for now so that we can uh, see the see the mask a little bit better. So go up to effect controls and you want to go down to this op opacity section. Click on this a uh, little pen tool and you're gonna we're gonna draw a nice easy mask around does not have to be perfect um, if, uh, and don't go too close to your subject and I'll show you why in a second um, get close to the bottom there let's see it doesn't have to be perfect that looks good can probably go whoops probably go a little closer over here maybe a little bit further down right there that looks pretty good. So we just drew this mask around him. Um, you want to go to this mask feather section and make a nice soft. I'll we'll select that so we can see where it is. You can see those dotted lines. You want to make a nice soft um, feather around it so that it kind of blurs off into the edges. Now, when we put this, uh, we make the uh, the photo visible underneath again. Um, the trees above it aren't moving. It's just Neil with the chainsaw. So all these clips, we're gonna, we have to do it for all these, but it's pretty easy to apply that to the rest of your clips. You want to select that clip that you drew the mask on and copy it, copy it there, grab all your other clips that you want to apply it to right click on any one of them and go up to paste attributes and there's a lot of different things you can do. You know, if you have effects, you know, color stuff that you're gonna apply across all your clips, this is how you do it. But today we're just gonna do the opacity because that's where our mask was. We're gonna hit okay. And now it applied that mask to all the clips. Any one of them, you can click, they have the mask on it. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and play my clip through. And I'm pretty happy with that. There's a little bit of movement in it, not crazy. Um, but again, the, the trees, or what I was worried about. There's a little bit around there, but you know, I think it's close enough for, for my intentions here today. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, one key thing in your export is, you know, the reason why I made it kind of six seconds instead of just exactly three is to export it, you're gonna wanna set your endpoints, you know, I prefer right inside one of these transitions and hit, an, hit the endpoint there and the, the out point, you know, ending at the kind of the exact same spot in another transition. And the reason for that is if you start your endpoint here, there's no, um, there's none of that, you're not getting any of that crossfade from the previous clip that essentially would be right here. To make sure your cinema graph loops properly, start it and stop it on those transitions. We're gonna go and export this clip. All right, it's uh, three seconds and 16 frames, perfect. Um, you don't wanna go too long with these, three seconds is plenty for it to be able to loop. You know, The shorter the video, the smaller the file, it's gonna load really quickly on someone's feed and uh, start showing that loop. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use a preset here. I'm gonna go to, um, let's see, mobile device 1080p, because I'm using 1080p footage. This mobile device preset is really great, works both on Androids and, iPhones, I use it all the time for, for my social media stuff. Uh, there's no need to export audio. Go ahead and do maximum render quality. Uh, use previews if you render it at all. Render at maximum depth. And then go ahead and export that. Pretty simple. There are a lot of ways you can do it. Um, and just have fun with it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that helped. Like I said, there's a ton of ways to create these. This is just one of the ways. But I found that it's a cool little trick that not a ton of people do and so helps you stand out on on Instagram and social media and that kind of thing. If you wanna see more quick tutorials like this, some vlogs, some travel stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, keep creating. I'll see you next time.